Okay, today we're going to be looking at the solutions to the alternate basis worksheet and um, I'm going to show you hopefully some good examples of how you actually do the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in alternate bases. But before we work with a different base, um, we're going to start with addition. I want to just talk about base 10 and the reasons why we do some of the things we do. For instance, when you first learned how to do addition and you got into um, adding, say, three digit numbers here, the way we all do this by hand, you know, you do 2 plus 9 is 11, you put 1 here, and you carry the 1. And then 1 plus 6 is 7, and 7 plus 9 is 16, and you put a 6 here and carry the 1. And 1 plus 8 is 9, and 5 more is 14, and we put the 4 and the 1. So what I want to talk about is why we carry the 1. Um, the reason we're carrying the 1 here is when you get 11, that's really 1, 10, and 1 left over because you're in base 10. So you're carrying to the tens place here. You're carrying 110 over here with one left over. And when you add here and get 16, you've really got 110 and six left over. So you're carrying the 10 and you're leaving the six here. And so the thing to keep in mind when we're working in other bases is that what we'll be carrying when we do addition is not a 10, but whatever the base is. So in this first example off the alternate basis worksheet, when we do 3 plus 3 is 6, first of all, I can't write the numeral 6 here because the largest numeral that there is in base 5 is the numeral for 4. Remember that you have exactly as many numerals as whatever the base number is. So since base is 5, we only have 5 numerals, and those numerals are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So there is no numeral for 6, so there must be another way to indicate 6 than writing the numeral 6. And so it's the same kind of idea as we did over here. When we get 6, we need to see, well, 6 is how many 5s? Well, 5 goes into it once with 1 left over. 1 5 and 1 more make 6. Same process as what we did over here, where we had 11, which was 1 10 and 1 left over. Okay, so you proceed to the next column. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 0 is still 5. Well, how do you write that in base 5? You have to think 5 is how many 5s? Well, it's exactly 1 5 with nothing left over. So you carry the 1 5, you leave a 0 there. And then 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. 7 is 1 5 with 2 left over. Okay, so this is the way you want to learn how to add an alternate basis instead of using those, making all those addition tables. That takes way too long. You need to be able to think in the base you're working in. Now, the last thing you have to remember to do here is put a subscript on your answer of 5 so that somebody looking at your work understands that this is not 1,201. This is 1201 base 5, whatever that represents in base 10. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. 9A48 base 12 plus B77A base 12. I'm going to add those together. So this is one where we've got letters introduced here. Because this is base 12, um, we need 12 numerals. So we have the standard numeral 0 through 9, but then you need a separate numeral for 10, which is going to be the letter A. And we need a numeral for 11, which is going to be the letter B. So when we see 8 plus A here, we really need to be thinking this is 8 plus 10, which is 18. And so the, the object now is to figure out how do you represent 18 in base 12. Same way we did up here. You want to divide 18 by 12. Well, it goes in once, so we'll carry that 1. And what's left over? 6. So 1, 12, and 6 more gets you to 18. Then we go to the next column. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 7 is exactly 12. Okay, so 12 goes into 12 one time with nothing left over. So 1, 0. And then this is 1 plus 10, which is 11, plus 7 is 18, which is again 1, 12, and 6 left over. And in the last column, you have 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 11 is 21. How do you represent 21 in base 12? Well, 12 goes into 21 once, and what's left over? 9. 1, 9, 
606 base 12. Okay, let's do another one. 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, base 8, plus 7, 3, 4, 6, 1, base 8. Okay, 1 plus 4 is 5, and that's perfectly fine to write the numeral for 5 because that's less than 8, so we have that numeral. 3 plus 6 is 9. I don't have a numeral for 9 if I'm in base 8. So, how many 8s go into 9? 1 8 does, with 1 left over. Next column, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 more is 7. Just write the numeral for 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. If you're in base 8, 10 is 1 8 and 2 left over. And 1 plus 6 is 7, and 7 more is 14, which is 1 8 and 6 left over. Don't forget to write your subscript of 8. I'm going to skip down to problem 6 on your worksheet because it's still addition. 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, base 3, plus 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, base 3. We're going to add those. All right, 1 plus 2 is 3. If you're in base 3, that's 1, 3, and none left over. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, which is 1, 3, and 1 left over. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 1, 3, 0 left over. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, 1, 3, 1 left over. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3, 1, 3, 0 left over. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5, 1, 3, 2 left over. So we get one, two, zero, one, zero, one, zero, base three.